My daughter, I have spoken and sent out warnings, but only some have ears to listen and heed. Yet so many more have rejected my warnings and think they can continue to live their sinful lives without consequence. What I have to say is so very important. It is a matter of eternal life or eternal hell. A person can choose where they want to spend their eternity, but most don't think or care what happens to them when their lives end. Events I will do very soon, which must happen, will cause many to die, and time has run out. All that matters is souls need to be saved. The truth, the gospel, needs to be heard and received throughout all mankind. I am will make it happen. I will do something new that you would not believe, even if you were told. A time that will bring in a harvest of great multitude, which will be the final warning for all peoples to turn to me before the great homecoming, to bring my children home to me before the terrible days that follow. I will forgive those who come to me humbly in repentance. I am is a merciful and long-suffering God. I have given over 2,000 years for my children to turn from their wickedness, for I do not want any to perish. Yet this world has grown darker and disgustingly evil, and so many of my children are suffering at the hands of evil. The lies that are being told on a massive scale has been believed by the multitudes and Satan has a grip on so many. Please pray for discernment, my children, so you are not fooled. Read my words so you are prepared and come close to me. Pray for all to have discernment and ask for patient endurance and my strength until my time to come for you. For some who already belong to me, I will bring home sooner, for their pain and suffering will come to an end. All who believe and put their trust in me, great will be their reward in heaven. I want, with my heart's desire, for the people of this world to repent and come to me. But so many enjoy their wickedness, and still so many are ignorant and blind to the truth. My children pray. My saints pray. Pray for the truth to explode over the earth so it will crush the lies of the enemy and shut the mouths of the deceivers. Ask also that they are compelled to speak the truth, to confess now. So many innocent children, babies and unborn babies, are being murdered for evil purposes that my eyes have seen enough. My judgments have started and will only intensify to greater judgments that the earth will not be able to stand it. Hearts will fail from what is about to happen. Pray for hearts to be like fighter soil, to accept the seed of truth so that my light will grow within them and produce good fruit. I will send out an army no man has ever seen or will see again to do my will, to harvest the fields and to bring in the multitudes to my storehouses. My final warning is at hand. My love for you will never end. My grace and mercy is yours for the asking. My forgiveness is yours if you want it. My son died on the cross for you, all of you, and rose again to conquer death. My son Jesus Christ took the punishment that was meant for your sins and paid the price for you so that the gift of salvation can be yours 
if you want it. So many of my servants have preached this and it is the truth being given to you freely. Admitting you are a sinner is the first step. Acknowledge and understand that Jesus died on the cross and rose again. Speak up so I can hear you confess with your mouth that you need and accept Jesus as your Savior and believe in me, trust in me. Hold on to my promises, read my word, and put your faith in the only one who can save you from all the chaos, suffering, pain, lies, and all wickedness in this world. For I am coming. I am at the door. Are you ready? Have you made your choice? Light or dark? Life or death? In the time we are in, and what is to come, you will need me alone to get you through it. Pray and ask in my son's name, Jesus Christ. Pray for patience, courage, endurance, strength, to be one with me, to be led by the Holy Spirit and not by your flesh. For discernment, wisdom, truth, for correction, and ask for guidance with everything you do. Ask for the protection and promise of Psalm 91. I am your God, your loving Heavenly Father, and I care about all that concerns you. Talk to me throughout the day, even in your thought life. Talk to me, pray to me, Don't stop. Keep praying. Don't stop. Don't give up. For I will carry you. I love you so much. Come to me and be mine. You cannot trust in man or this world. It is unreliable. Trust in me, your God. And I will never forsake you. Because you are mine. For I control all. I am controlling all circumstances and my will is being done as it is in heaven. Put your hopes and trust in me. Surrender your hearts to me. Believe. Keep your eyes on your precious Savior, Jesus. However things seem to look in the world, keep trusting in me to take care of all your needs and I will provide. I will protect you because I love you. No one is beyond my love if only you come to me in repentance and receive my gift of salvation. Please take heed to my warning messages from all messengers and ask for discernment and confirmation from the Holy Spirit. Some messages are contorted by enemy interference and some are simply lies from the enemy's servants pretending to be a brother or sister in Christ. Be cautious. Be vigilant. Have discernment. Pray for it. Come to me for the truth. For those who are in the grips of the enemy and cannot escape, pray to me now to help release the grip the enemy has on you. I am the one who can break every bond and I am the creator of life and can take it away. I am the only one who controls and decides over your souls. Even if you made a contract or allegiance to evil, I alone can break those contracts and severe your bonds to the enemy and I will bring your heart back to me 
if only you choose me. Turn to me now, before it is too late. I will not delay my coming judgments. Therefore, you cannot delay your decision. Choose me for your true salvation, to be loved and cared for all eternity. Or choose against me, and you choose to be in the hands of Satan, who hates you and wants to see you in pain and suffering forever. Satan hates his followers, but lies and says otherwise, and makes promises he will not keep. Choosing an allegiance with Satan and his demons and servants will bring you to eternal hell. Choose me today, break the bonds of the enemy and all afflictions, and be truly set free through me. Believe Jesus died for your sins and confess with your mouth that you are a sinner and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I love you. I am your loving Heavenly Father, the great I am. I gave my Son to be crucified for your sins so you could be in heaven with me. Life in my kingdom is so filled with my glory and splendor. You cannot imagine how beautiful and wondrous it will be. A new adventure awaits you. My son, your loving King, Jesus Christ, is not only your Savior, but your trustworthy, faithful, and loving friend, as I am, and we are as one. This big decision must be taken seriously. I give you freedom of choice. I will not force myself on you, but the enemy does. I will love you and take care of my children. The enemy only seeks to destroy you. You can be eternally in the loving hands of your heavenly father or be in the murderous hands of Satan, father of lies, hatred and destruction and receive his punishment in the lake of fire. I ask again with great love, come to me now before it is too late. A choice must be made. I love you, your loving Heavenly Father. I am waiting with open arms to receive you.